Hello! I'm going to show you guys how to use the bone tool today in Flash. And you can see I've drawn a horrific drawing because I'm not particularly artistic. A horrific drawing of a little man doing some funny walking. Not super, but you can see he's walking along, having a great old time. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You guys will be able to do it better because I bet you're better artists than me, aren't you? Yeah! My feelings. Okay. So I'm going to say File New in Flash, and uh, or if you just open Flash, the one I want you to choose an, is an Action Script 3. And I'm going to say OK. That's going to give me just a blank screen. What we're going to do is we're going to paint our own little guy. So I'm going to use the Paintbrush tool, which is right here. Um, so I'll push on the Paintbrush tool. Uh, the fill color is this one. Right now mine's white. I don't want that because then I won't be able to see it. So you can choose whatever color you want. Maybe I'll make a little blue man. We're going to do a stick man because it's the easiest for the example. Um, so I'm just going to give him a stick man head and stick man eyes and a stick man smile. And I'm going to give him a body and legs. Now I'm going to make his legs. Watch how I draw my legs. Try and draw yours the same kind of way. So he's got a knee there and a knee there. It means that both legs are kind of facing the same way. And I'll do one arm like that and another one like this. I'm not sure if that's actually how people look when they walk, but let's just pretend. OK, so I'm going to wait a second while everyone uses the paintbrush tool. So this is where my paintbrush tool is, where I'm wiggling. You can push B to get the paintbrush. Um, and I'm going to let you, so obviously paintbrush tool and uh, a color that's not white because you won't see it and paint yourself some sort of beautiful stick man. Oh, one other thing. If you want to change your brush thickness down here, you've got these uh, brush shape. So you could choose a different brush shape and a different brush size. So if you find that your stick man is too small, you could choose a different brush size. Now, while you guys are finishing it up, let me just tell you something about the bone tool. The way it works, the way you want to use it, is you want to draw from the inside out. So if my arm moves like this, I draw bones starting at the shoulder to the elbow and then the elbow to the wrist, and then it'll move like this. If I were to draw the bone the other way, my um, the outside would anchor and it would move this way, okay? Which is not how you're, that would be very painful, I think. So you want, you want your arm to move at the shoulder and at the elbow, so you start drawing from the inside and you go out. Otherwise, you'll get some sort of weird alien movement. Oh my God. Okay, before you draw anything, you want to select the whole guy before you start drawing, uh, putting bones in him. So choose the black arrow and then just draw a box that fits around the entire guy. Okay, then bone tool, and it's pretty simple. Um, you can get to the bone tool by pushing M on your keyboard or just by pushing the little picture of the bone in the toolbar. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start from the very center here with mm, this guy's arm. Yeah, M is the bone tool. I'm not sure why. So I'm going to draw it from his base of his neck, I guess that's his shoulder here in the stick man, to his elbow, and then from his elbow down to the bottom of his hand. And then I'm going to go back to this first point and draw out again, like that and like that. You can tell um, that your bone is going in the right direction because it starts off fat and goes skinny, fat, skinny. So there are my arms. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to put a joint uh, from here to here. That is hips. And then from hips to knee. Knee to ankle, and then ankle to the tip of his toe. Okay, I'm even going to put a bone that goes up his neck and into his head. Like this. So I'm going to do this, and then I might do some bones just sticking out like this. I'm not sure. Why? Great question. Um, I, I wonder if I do it like this, if it'll stop my guy from having his head attached to his arm. Um, so what I do is then when I click off of my drawing, you'll notice it created a second layer. We drew the man on layer one, and there's another layer above it now called armature, and it has a picture of a little stick man on it. This is the layer we work with. We work with the armature layer. The other one's now hidden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to frame 
15, and I'm going to right click on it, and I'm just going to say insert a pose. Ooh. And it brings up all my bones, and then I'm going to say, okay, well, if he was running, maybe he just planted his foot here, and now this foot's going to start swinging this way. So I just pick it up by the joints and start dragging them around to try and make it look as realistic as I think I can Whoa. for running. Now, you know, it's a stick man, so it's only going to look so realistic, and his arms will probably move. Maybe his, maybe this arm would come down, and this arm would come back this way a little bit. And because I put some extra bones in his head, you can see that it's not dragging his head along with him. I'm just going to do a couple more of these. I'm going to go to frame 30 and insert a pose. I'll put this leg over here now, and maybe it's hit the ground. Oh, we're running out of battery power. And I'll drag this one this way. And this arm over here. That's okay. I'm going to come around and help you guys in a second. Let me just finish my little animation here, okay? And then now I'll make his leg go back to the original position. Okay, so this is going to make sure his knees don't bend the wrong way. That would be painful. Uh, Alright, so mine's going to look silly, but now I'm just going to go control test scene. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, he's almost doing a little jig there. Let's see. 